What's up y'all welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to dye my luscious locks. Um, this is just basically how I rolled out of bed and I was just like, you know what? It's raining here. There's nothing else to do. Let me dye my hair. So as y'all know, I dyed my hair or bleached my hair about a week or two ago. And my son is in the room, so you will hear him. But I bleached my hair about a week or two ago and I am already having some great new growth. So eventually my hair will leave. My hair will have some great like shadow roots and it will look more natural, so to speak. So today, the dye that I'm using is an Adore Me um, hair dye. So it's semi-permanent, will wash out eventually, and it's non-damaging to my hair. So I don't need to do anything special to prep for this. Um, and I'm gonna stop rambling and just get straight to the point. First, you wanna wear a shirt that you don't care about. As y'all can see, this bad boy has been through some bleaches, some color oops, and a little bit of everything. Next, you want to get you some gloves. Um, if you're not really careful with where you put your dye, I would suggest like lining your head and on your ears with some Vaseline to keep your head from getting stained. So the dye that I am using today is the Adore Me in the color Ginger. I have used Adore Me in the color Paprika before and it gave me more of a red color, which I don't mind but I'm going for a ginger color to look like I was a natural born ginger and my hair is light enough to where I can achieve that look now. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna remove my watch. Um, I also wanted to update you guys on that. I got the new iPhone Pro Max um, and I've got the new smartwatch so I'm able to track my runs and, every, and count my steps and my calorie goals a whole lot better now. So I will be updating you guys on that. Um, but for now, let's just continue to the hair. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead, jump right into it. I don't, I don't typically wash my hair for this process, so I'm just going to put the hair dye on, leave it on for an hour, and come back once I've rinsed out the hair dye. All right, y'all, this is how my hair came out. Look how beautiful and ginger my hair is. So, I, like I said, or I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did use the Camille Rose Conditioning Custard for about five minutes and it left my hair very soft. But something I found at Sally's Beauty that I really think is great for semi-permanent colors is this Ion Color Brilliance After Color Treatment which um, helps lock the cuticle and drives the hair pigment deeper into your hair. So it will help keep your hair pigment there for a couple more washes than it normally would, which I think is amazing. I've already used it, I've rinsed it out, and now I'm going to apply the Camille Rose. So to get styling on my hair, I'm gonna use the Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs and Honey Ultimate Hair Growth Serum on my scalp. This has given me all the new growth that you see. Um, I've been using it and like I, I showed y'all that I dyed my or bleached my hair like a week and a half or two weeks ago. Like I got all this new growth in just a week or two. So I'm gonna use that. Then I'm gonna use her Honey Hydrate Leave-In. And you only want to use a little bit of the leave-in and the other products I'm about to show you because you don't want it to weigh your hair down too much. And it's a little bit oily. So if you use too much then like you're prone to get pimples, like I got these pimples from using too much the first couple times I used it. Um, but anyway, the next thing I'm gonna use is her Curl Love Moisture Milk. I love this because it the honey is so thick to me that this cuts the thickness of it, but it also like conditions my hair, makes my hair super soft, and I really love that. 
and then to seal my hair because you know you just bleach your hair and you're coming if you're like me and, and you're transitioning from you know not the best hair um i use this sealant on my hair to make sure that the you know the good oils are sealed into my hair period and then the final thing that i use is her curl maker with marshmallow extract and this stuff is golden so what i found out just to keep this short and sweet because i feel like i'm rambling now um well i used to love wet line because it would define my curls like nobody's business but it will also cause me ma major shrinkage with my hair and i didn't like that because my hair is already short this it defines all my curls but it also like it allows my hair to be free it allows my hair to move and to just like it keeps it in its natural state without too much frizz and i really like that about this so that's why i'm really glad i picked up this line period okay all right now i'm gonna get into the styling because um i need to go to work in about 30 minutes so i need to get to styling my hair so let's just get into it all right y'all so i wanted to show y'all how my hair came out and y'all can't tell me i did not kill this hair like look at it it is a beautiful ginger hair and my son is in the room so you're gonna hear him it is what it is but look how pretty this like first of all i did my makeup bomb the hair came out bomb i feel like i rock any hair color at this point but i did want to show you my hair is still like technically drying but I want to show y'all how healthy my hair is and just how beautiful the color came out. And, you know, I'm going to keep this short and sweet for y'all. So leave a comment below. Like, comment, and subscribe, sis, if you're new. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I got it out a day late. But I hope you did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next banger. Bye.